I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. What the fuck, man? Artyom, a car! Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, come here. One more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, we'll do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. Artyom! Artyom! We have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Are you going out? Look here then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. <clears throat> Some explosive <clears throat> ammo right there. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning.
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. <laughs> While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. <laughs> I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. You fucking dickheads! What is so hard about naming one measly prop with a whole gang? So she killed a dozen boys already? What if you continue to
Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Munai by Lair is my friend. The Munai by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. <clears throat> Wanted to put me in shackles, too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Knight by Lair. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility was left abandoned. I went there after the war to look for mom's traces, but found them. <laughs> Before the war, my mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. <clears throat> abandoned? Kewl, we helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the archive. We should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Nier will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart. But you do not have choice. Ready? No. Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. 
Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live.
Now, when we finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our own find one that has somehow been still attacked. I have a simple star monster to come home for the light, but I'll have to kill them for now. Don't want you to get stuck there. Killing the lights now. Jump us with light still on. Go, go, go! at the dock. Mother told me they had to repair many times and other things too. Keprakme. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says, there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. Listen up everyone! The Baron is about to speak! 
Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. So, people, I had a radio chat with the boss of that train gang. And I don't even know what to say. For starters, that boss is an honest to goodness corner. And he's not on a joyride here, oh no. He's been sent here on a mission by the Supreme Command. He was rather vague on this specific. Though he says his mission is secret. And if you think this is all there is, you are gravely mistaken. Can you imagine where this colonel is hailing from? Straight from Moscow. <laughs> This <laughs> has been such a long time since I had such a laugh. But that isn't even all. This clown wants our water, fuel, and right of passage. <laughs> He's a reasonable man, ain't he? Ho oh, oh. ho! And in return, the Supreme Command is sure to reward us later. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I heard such bullshit before. I don't know who is this colonel, who told him we are all complete morons. Come, I'll show you some things. But we cannot really let this slide. This so death will be the end of me. Whoever brings a live train gang member to me will be rich. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. Oh, I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon.
Come on, inside! Arvion, I have the mirror on the line here, so take a seat. I'll be with you what? soon. What a storm! And made of sand, no less! Ah, oh, damn the sand to hell! All right, Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom! Great news! Artyom got the maps! Well done, Artyom! That is such a relief. Idiot! Get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Have of a data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew. People are going down with dehydration already. It's only getting worse. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll hold us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror recalled to the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. Grand I'll go back to the post. Don't you have any water left at all?
Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. We live in interesting times, gentlemen. During the last sandstorm, somebody wiped off post in the ruins. Judging by the time, it's that train guy. I did call them out on it, but they kept denying everything. The thing is, some boys saw them driving a car our people at the post had. These newcomers are total loose cannons, so you must stay alert. As you were, everyone. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. All right. I hear a few words on the canyon near the spring where the stray tribals attacked our boys. Ivan, is my word nothing more than an ass wife to you? It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. How are the guys doing with that? But you should have harvested before they went rabbit. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! And that means extermination! My word. As you were, everyone, the Baron has fallen. Gil says lots of people used to live in the area. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. Come <laughs> 
Nothing. Finally lost them. Oh, it's a shame about the slaves. <sighs> None of this was their fault. <laughs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. You tired? No wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest.
showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Get to business then. Yermak, Chris, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car. Artyom, come here! Artyom! <laughs> Stealing that tank! <clears throat> yes, sir! Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about it. Artyom, the, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we'll have to run them through the whole carriage. They should. Our pumps aren't that good. Can't build much of a pressure, so I don't expect leaks. Some seepage at worst. Once we get far enough, we move the pipes to the roof and then replace them with proper metal ones. Well, you're on top of things. Having so many spare parts, man. Even pipes. And you brought them from Moscow. <laughs> it never hurts to have more spares. Besides, I just knew they'd come in handy. Hansa supplied every sortie so well, we could build a second engine with the spares. Listen up, everyone! The Baron, fuck off, dummy! All right. Everyone in second reserve. Assemble at the ring.
Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. You and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the <laughs> underground. <laughs> Let's go. We'll, we'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gru is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids. And all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy. Come on, this shit is heavy! Go! Go! Some shite in there. I know now. He's such a bad enemy. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah! 
Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, it's such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Agree now. Just do it. Jewel? Where did you go? I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Hide that weapon now! Nobody would let you in with a gun at the ready. Open the gate and let our guests in! Come up! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. Get ready and enter that gate, Artyom. Look. Look at that guy. Artyom! Are you out of your mind? Forgive me, Master. Forgive your friend. He's the one from what the train. What the fuck are you saying? My fucking ear! Who told you about that dog. bitch girl? Get over here! Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Oh, 
Coyote. But the walk is by different rules. This drop always wins. Our lies in our faith that keeps our flock together. It is through this faith that we protect them, direct them, keep them from disappearing in this desert. But you, you, you are leading our flock astray. They see you as something of an icon. There is this aura of rebellion about you. The attraction of forbidden. It is an aura of problems nobody needs. Luckily, your death will dispel it. Why doesn't he speak anymore? Carnage, you went all out here, didn't you? Oh, oh impressive. So, this is the plan Jules was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! <clears throat> the door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! You wanted to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. back, my love. I was so worried.
Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried-out sea, 